So as you can see, cuddlebits don't have thumbs. They only have four fingers. So he likes to suck on his toe on his foot. Hi, my name is L'Oreal and I am the mandrel and gibbon keeper at the Los Angeles Zoo. Well, Brandon is a very, very cute guy. Obviously, you can see he has a very cute little face. Um, he is a little bit small for his age, but he is thriving and doing really well. So with baby Brandon, um, he was born with some health problems. So unfortunately, he could not stay with the group while he was a teeny tiny infant. So uh, our nursery staff here helped raise him until he was old enough and strong enough to become put back with the group. One thing about the colobus is they have a fermented gut. So it is very difficult to hand raise colobus because of the formula or the milk that you need. So we have just all these little spots and he comes right up and knows to come and get his bottle. And we'll give him little breaks in between his bottle so he doesn't drink too fast. And the best thing they have found for them for their guts is diluted goat's milk. So that's what he gets. And most of the time they leave him alone with the bottle. Sometimes they want to grab and see the bottle and why is he getting that, but they're usually pretty good. Almost done? And then I usually just hide the bottle so he doesn't fixate on it. They're definitely endangered. Unfortunately, in 2016, the wild is disappearing very fast, faster than I think people realize. And they also get hunted for their fur. And so we have what's called SSP, which is a species survival plan here. Um, and that just monitors all the different groups um, in America and who's breeding with who to make sure that we keep a nice, diverse um, genetic pool. That way we can try to help save the species and continue to work with Africa and the trust funds that they have there. But we definitely do try to support as many of the sanctuaries that we possibly can. There's not a lot of success rates when it's very difficult to hand raise colobus. So the fact that him being born with health problems, he made it through and then to be introduced to the group is a huge success for the LA Zoo and all of the keepers that put in the effort to to raise him.